Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today's letter is the letter A. A is for apple. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little apple. Let's begin! Here are the supplies that you'll need for today's drawing lesson. You'll need a drawing pad or a piece of paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, and you'll need something to color in your apple. You could use crayons, you could use markers, or you can use coloring pencils. I'm going to be using coloring pencils today. And the colors that we're going to be using are red, green, brown, and black. I have a couple of different colors of red, and I have a light green and a dark green. But if you only have one red and one green, that's fine. If you don't have a black coloring pencil, you can use your regular pencil when we need it, or you can use a black marker. I think I'm going to use a black marker. It's a thin one. It's not like those big Sharpies. It's just a thin one. So I'm going to use a black marker instead of my little black coloring pencil. And I wanted to show you something. You see how small this is? Well, I can still use it because I have one of these things. This is called a pencil extender. And what you do is you put your pencil in it. Not too far or you'll lose it. <laughs> And then you tighten it just like this and see you can use it as if it were a long pencil again that way you can save your pencils and I want to show you you can really use them until they're tiny if you have these pencil extenders whoops look at how tiny my white pencil is and I still use it <laughs> I thought that was neat and I wanted to show you that you know what I'm going to show you a picture right now. This is a cat that I used to have. His name was Leo. He loved eating apples. I've never seen a cat eat an apple before, and I wanted to share this photo with you because I thought it was really, really funny. Okay, let's begin drawing our apple. Well, first of all, I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to write the letter A. That's a capital A. And then we've got a small a. And you can draw your a like this. Some people, they write their a like this. That's how I do my a's. So today, a, p, p, l, e for apple. Let's take our pencil, and I want you to look at your hand and make this shape with your hand. This is the shape of the apple on each side. So if I look at my hand and I draw an apple in that shape, with a little curve on the bottom, okay? And then you can take your right hand and do the same thing, just look at it. I'm right-handed, so I can't look at it and draw at the same time, but I'm gonna do basically the same shape on the right side. It looks a little bit like a heart. Okay, so that's the basic shape of an apple. If you look at your hands, that's kind of the shape you want. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take your finger and put your finger at the edge of the middle of the apple and under your finger just draw a squiggly line. Your finger is probably smaller than mine, but it doesn't matter where you put it. We drew that squiggly line because that's going to show us where we should start the stem for the apple. So watch how I do this. It's kind of like an upside down skinny triangle. So we're going to start at the middle of the squiggly line and we're going to draw our stem up a little line this way and then down back to the middle of the squiggly line. 
So there we go, that's our stem. Now the next thing we're going to do is draw the leaf of the apple. So we're going to go maybe about here. That's about the middle of the stem from the top of the apple to the top of the stem. So we're about in the middle there. Watch how I draw this leaf. Okay, so that's the leaf of the apple. Every leaf has what's called veins. If you put a leaf up against the sun, you'll see lines through it sometimes. So we're going to draw some of those lines. Now I want you to go from the tip of the leaf and draw a straight line all the way, well mine's not that straight, <laughs> all the way to the end of the leaf here. Now, oh, I made a mistake. I'm going to show you something. Let me just erase that. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, you see how I left a little piece of eraser there? Instead of going like this and wiping it off with my hand, because I might get some of the pencil on my hand and it would get all dirty, I have this. This is an old dollar store paintbrush that I have never used before. So maybe you can ask mom and dad if they have an extra brush, because this is fun. When you have a piece of eraser bit, just wipe it off with your brush. That's a little artist trick for you. <laughs> that way you don't get your hand dirty from wiping like that. Okay, back to the leaf. We're going to draw just a few more veins the other way. A few more lines. Mine are curved and I'm just going to put two. Okay. I've decided that this apple is a boy. So Mr. Apple is going to have a smiley face. So let's draw his eyes. You can choose anywhere on the apple for his eyes. I'm going to draw them under the little squiggly line. And his eyes are going to be in the shape of kind of like eggs, oval, like this. And then we're going to draw another little egg shape on the inside for his eyeballs. The real word is pupil. <laughs> And then we're going to draw a smiley face. Okay? So now we've drawn our apple. Now I'd like to start coloring it in. The first thing I'm going to do is take my brown color. And if you don't have brown, you could always use a dark green or maybe a dark blue or a black. And we're going to color in the stem. So just take your time and color in the stem. If you're using colored pencils, you don't have to press very hard to get the color. If you press too hard, you might break the tip of your pencil and then you have to sharpen it all the time. And if you have to sharpen your pencils all the time, they're going to wear out faster. So don't press down too hard. And another thing, if you start to press down too hard, you might your, your hand might get tired. You know when you have to go like this? When your hand gets tired? That means you're pressing too hard. And if you want the color to be darker, then all you have to do is color over it again. Very lightly. And you'll get a darker color. This is called adding layers. But don't worry about that right now. I'll do a video in the future to teach you about layers. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the color of the stem. So now I'm going to work on the leaf. I'm going to take my light green color and I'm going to color in the whole leaf. And like I said, I'm not pressing hard at all. You might be hearing my dog and my cats snoring in the background sometimes. I have a dog and two cats. And when I make my videos, they always lie down next to me and fall asleep. And my dog, Jack, he's a hound dog. This is a picture of Jack. 
He's a hound dog and he snores very loud sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I've got all of my leaf colored in. Now, if you have a darker green color, and you don't have to do this, only if you want to, you can put a little bit of dark green around the whole edge of the leaf. Not in the middle, just around the edge. Okay? Just to give it a little bit of interest that's what they call in the art world when you add different colors and different things you're making your drawing more interesting you're giving it interest now i'm going to take my red color and color in my apple my red is a little bit of a pinky red but i also have a little bit of an orangey red and i'm going to use both of these but i'm going to start with the pinky red and you don't have to use red for your apple you can have a green apple or you can have a yellow apple. Apples come in all sorts of colors. I think my favorite apple is Macintosh. I go apple picking every year and it's so much fun. I'm going to give you another tip, okay? If you're using a coloring pencil and you're coloring in, coloring, 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 Turn your pencil once in a while. Color, 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 color. Turn. Color, 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 color. Turn. The reason why we turn our pencil is because we don't want to wear down the tip all on one side. Because then you have to sharpen more often and your pencil doesn't last very long. So as you're coloring in, don't forget to turn your pencil. <laughs> I forget sometimes. When you're coloring in your apple, try not to get the red inside the eyes of Mr. Apple here because we want him to have a little bit of white in there. If you color inside his eyes. Don't even worry about it. It happens. It's no big deal. I just want you to have fun. But if you can, try not to get the red in there. We don't want Mr. Apple to look like he's tired and he has bloodshot eyes. <laughs> you see I'm talking? I forgot to turn my pencil. Are you turning your pencil? Another apple that I really, really like is called Honeycrisp. And the only way to describe it is it's crisp and it's sweet like honey. That's one of my favorite apples. Have you ever heard someone say to you, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, it's true. Well, maybe not completely true. You may have to go for, to the doctor for something else. But they say that because apples are so good for you. It's a very healthy snack. They're good for your heart. They keep your heart healthy and happy. And they're good for your tummy too. They help you digest. So make sure you have apples as snacks. Apples are called nature's candy. Okay, I'm going to take my orangey red now and I'm going to put a second layer of color on my apple and I, that just means I'm going to color it in a second time. If you don't have a different red, you can use the first red that you used and put on a second layer of color, color it in a second time. But if you're happy with how your apple looks, you don't have to even do anything more. Drawing is all about fun. It's not about being perfect. It's not about competing with anybody else. Nobody is better than anybody else because art is 
something that's what they call subjective. Everybody likes different things. So you should never compare your art with anybody else's because yours is beautiful because you created it. And it should be a lot of fun for you to do. I think that drawing and painting is very relaxing. So if you're feeling sad or if you're feeling upset or if you're stressed, take out your pad and pencil and start drawing. I guarantee you'll feel much better. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black marker. And like I said, you can use a black coloring pencil or if you have a crayon. Or if you don't have any of those, you can use your regular pencil. What we're going to do is we're going to just go over the eyes and the mouth and the squiggly line, I think. I'm going to go over my squiggly line first. And now I'm just going to draw right over my pencil. The reason I'm doing this is to make his eye stand out a little more. To make both of his eyes stand out and his smile stand out a little more. Okay? And if you want, you can give him cheeks. That's how you give him cheeks. <laughs> now let's just color in the eyeball or the pupil, which is the correct word. <laughs> I don't want to teach you the wrong words. We're going to color that in all black. Okay. There we go. I think Mr. Apple is nearly done. The last thing I'd like to show you is take out your brown color again and let's just color underneath the apple just so he's not hanging in the air. Turn your pencil. He's probably either sitting on a brown table or maybe he's sitting on the ground but he's not just hanging out in the air. He probably just got picked off a tree. That's why he still has his leaf. Okay. There we go. Now the last thing that I want you to always do is to sign your work. It's important for you to take ownership of the beautiful creation you just made. So every time you do a drawing, always sign your name because that's your drawing, nobody else's. That was a lot of fun. I really hope that you enjoyed that. I'm very happy with my apple. I hope you're happy with yours too. So until next time, my friends, this is Rain from Alphabet Soup. Bye-bye.